Black holes are regions in space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing can escape once it falls past a certain point. And these things are big. Like, really big. The small ones, called stellar black holes, range from about 3 to 50 solar masses, or about 3 to 50 times the mass of our sun, while supermassive black holes range in the millions to billions. The size difference between black holes and Earth is so enormous that it's almost close to the height difference between me and my dad. Despite their size and power, though, black holes can theoretically die. Through a process known as Hawking radiation, a black hole can fade over time, eventually dissipating entirely. To understand why this happens, we first need to understand that empty space isn't really empty. According to quantum field theory, a vacuum is filled with virtual particles and virtual antiparticles, each with opposing charges appearing and annihilating each other. Hawking radiation occurs when the gravitational pull of a black hole separates a virtual particle and virtual antiparticle pair. A negative virtual particle then falls into the black hole, becoming a real or observable particle with negative energy. This creates a flow of negative energy into the black hole, reducing its mass. The remaining particle escapes into the universe and is observed as radiation. Over time, this process causes a black hole to evaporate. We can measure the temperature of a black hole through Hawking radiation. The lower the level of Hawking radiation, the lower the temperature, and the higher the level of Hawking radiation, the higher the temperature. As the black hole decreases in mass, its temperature starts to increase as well. Hawking radiation emission increases in turn, resulting in the black hole losing mass at an even faster rate. This cycle repeats until the black hole evaporates entirely, giving off massive amounts of heat in its final moments of life. The concept of Hawking radiation is key to understanding the life cycle of black holes. Yet it also generates more questions, such as where is the information consumed by a black hole go? While we've made progress in understanding black holes, we're clearly nowhere near close to fully understanding what they are or how they work.